Hey everybody, this is Dan from Mechanical Malarkey. Today I'm going to be taking a look inside some oil filters. I've seen a lot of hate on the internet about Fram filters, calling them garbage. I've even seen a few videos where people cut apart a whole bunch of brand new filters from a wide variety of brands to see what they look like inside, and a lot of them say that these are garbage. Well, this is one that I run on my car for 5,000 miles, so I'm going to cut it apart and see what the filter looks like. I'm also going to compare it to a perlator and a OEM Honda filter. All of these have been in a car for 5,000 miles. This one I actually cut open at the shop, but the rest I'm going to cut open right here for you. They make special tools for cutting open oil filters. I don't have one of those. So I'm just going to be using this three inch cutoff tool. Let's get started cutting apart the perlator. As always, I have ear protection and eye protection. There you go, not too hard. Started to leak a little bit of oil, that's why I put the rag in here. Now we'll cut up in the Honda filter. Alright, now time to look inside these. So that's the base plate, then the valve, and there's a whole bunch of oil in here that never drained out, so try not to make a huge mess. And I made a huge mess. So this is the perlator. Obviously after 5,000 miles it looks pretty dark inside, but it's also very solid, it's not like it was degrading, falling apart. Now we'll look at the Honda filter, base plate, and a valve. It's actually a little bit less substantial of a valve than the perlator. Let's drain the oil out. Now obviously these are slightly different sized filters, so there's a little bit different amounts of filter material. Yeah, these look pretty similar and I mean they're they're not breaking down or anything, not falling apart. And finally, we'll look at the Fram filter. Now if I'm gonna go based off of what I see in all the other videos, this is gonna be garbage and falling apart and all the filters going through my engine. I mean, it looks the same to me. Got the same parts. Feels solid, it's not falling apart. It looks like it might have fewer ribs than the others. So I'll count those real quick. 18 for the Fram. 35 for the Honda. It's quite a lot more. And 52 for the Perlator. Now these ones, these are from my Toyota, and this is from a Honda, so they aren't the same application. But the Perlator has the most, so it may be the better value of these three. Now the benefit of these, of having more, means that it could filter longer before clogging. You also really shouldn't be running it so long that it clogs. You should be changing pretty frequently. So there you go, a quick comparison between filters from Honda, Perlator, and Fram. Personally, I see no problem with using a Fram filter. I might do it again, but seeing how the Perlator has more ribs in it, I might go with the Perlator. But since I drive a Honda, work at a Honda dealership, I might just get the Honda filter. So let me know what you think. 
I'm sure plenty of people think I'm wrong about freedom filters, and I'm sure they'll let me know. Let me know in the comments or talk to me on social media. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Follow me on social media on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And read the blog at mechanicalmonarchy.com. Thanks for watching.